Hello everybody and thank you so much for returning back to our channel. In today's video, we are going to take a trip to Lowe's so that we can get some lights to go inside of our candle shed. If you guys missed the delivery video, I'll post the link for that right at the top. Go and check that video out. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe so that you don't miss any of our future videos as we finish up our candle shed journey. All right, so we came to Lowe's to look for, for one, the light switch that I may get to go in the shed. And for two, we had to get another shovel for digging the hole. So these light fixtures are expensive. Or maybe they're just expensive. No, no, baby, that's too basic. Mm -mm. So yeah, we're gonna look and see what we can get for the lights. And Let's see what we get. Okay, so I'm gonna be using this this vlog for the shed updates, right? So today is Saturday, April 2nd, and we have already gone to Lowe's to pick out the lights. Hey, uh, Tyler, tell Tiana to send me the shed keys. So we've already been to Lowe's to pick out the lights, and back at the house, the boys and Tim have been perfect have been digging the hole for the electricity to go in it is actually coming from the shed down to the bottom of the house so i'll flip the camera and show you guys what it looks like but basically we're going to be using this ditch here to um put the electricity in the ground as you can see here we have the ditch just about dug out so tim is up there helping tyreek because He's having a little bit of a struggle on his part. But nonetheless, they got the line they came all the way from the shed, coming down towards the house. And Tim has started his part over here so that he can connect it here and meet Tyler to be finished. Um, so yeah, they got almost finished. And show you guys what I chose for the light. So this is what the shed looks like now. It is completely empty. There's nothing in here. So this is the light fixture that I chose and I'm not really a fan of it. So let me tell you what I, what I don't like first. I did not like the covers on the light switch. So what I did was while I was at Lowe's, I bought these to go on as the cover because y'all know I'm quick to switch something up really fast and I thought these were just like super duper pretty and I tried them um, I tried them while I was in the store they do fit and then I ordered some Edison style vintage light bulbs um, that I'm going to use in there and I just give you guys an update of how I plan on doing the shed. I have to jump up here because uh, there's no, I don't have my steps yet. So right now, this is what the shed looks like. It's completely empty, okay? I got the loft up top. Now I plan on using my loft for supplies, you know, just to keep up with my supplies and whatnot. I think Tim wants me to put some Christmas decor in here because I have so much Christmas stuff. But I'm trying to leave that in the garage. Anyway, so the plan is the, the men are coming to do my electricity on Tuesday. I want to have a, a, a socket here, a socket in the middle of this wall, a socket right here, a socket on the end of this wall, and then another socket on the end of that wall. So once I get done with the walls, one socket there, one socket here, one socket here, one here, one here. On this side, I plan on using for my wax melter. I wanna have everything on this end here. And on this side here is where I plan on putting an AC window unit. Because one thing about candles, if they get too hot, they will sweat, which will cause the, um, oil to rise to the top, which we do not want. So 
I gotta have some type of AC unit, which is gonna go in this window right here. And of course, the ceiling on the outside, I have a metal roof, but I do plan on having the light here in the middle. And then I have to do something to my floors because as you can see, I don't have any floors. I don't know if I wanna leave the floors as they are or do the floors myself, but I don't know. Once we have the electricity done, we, me and Tim are gonna do the insulation by ourselves as well as the walls. And of course, I have already figured out, already figured out what color paint I want to go on my walls. So I have that figured out already as well. And then the next thing is ordering shelves because I need to have some type of shelves to go in the back here to you know store my candles and st st stuff on. So I'm gonna need some shelves. So that's another thing I'm working on. And let me see, what else do I need? I need a, uh, some work benches, work tables. So I gotta have a work table. And then that's pretty much gonna be it. I don't plan on doing all of this at, um, at one time. I wanna just eventually gradually go and work on my shed and make sure it is the perfect shed because um, I'm gonna be here for a while. So that is what I'm working on. And yeah, they saved us some money um, by digging the hole. They saved us some coins because that man was trying to uh, charge us $400 to dig this hole. Y'all know me, I'm not spending that. All right, guys. Huh? Is that what you call it, dog? Who? That little girl. Mackenzie? Yes. <gasps> I don't know. <laughs> so, y'all know we dug the ditch for the electricity. <laughs> and it's 12.30 in the morning. And at some point, I just kept hearing all this barking. We just could not figure out where the barking was coming from. Just could not figure out where it was coming from. And no, the sheriff is on the way. Um, Tim, the chef is on the way. Um, so somehow a dog has gotten stuck in our ditch. Tim, okay. Go ahead and be super power man. Go ahead. A dog has gotten stuck in the ditch. So we've had to call the sheriff and the uh, detective, I mean the deputies and um, they're on the way out to help the dog. Y'all, he is just, oh my God, he is just whining and crying <gasps> because he's stuck. Oh my God, we hear you, bud. I'm gonna put on some damn pinks or something. Just put, go, go up to him, shit. You can't go up to him, what if he bites you? <gasps> he hurting. I understand that. But then what, what you going to do with him when you get him out? You got to leave him anyway. Y'all, that's so sad. We hear you, bud. So we're just waiting for the sheriff to come to help get him out and possibly take him to the shelter. I don't want to get too close <clears throat> because I don't know if he bites, he can attack or what. But you can see his little reflective gear and there. And Tim wants to go help him so bad. I'll keep you guys updated when the sheriff gets here. All right, so the sheriff has finally arrived, y'all. Took about 10, 15 minutes. Oh, he's definitely old. I don't 
don't want to go too close in case he try to bite, but. How you doing? I was saying, um, I got another deputy coming with a cat's ball. So okay. I'm, we're going to go talk to the people, okay? Okay. <laughs> I know, bud. They coming back. They going to come and get you. Oh. He does not want them to leave. So, Tim thinks he may belong He may belong to the dog, to the house that's right behind us. So, they're going to go and try to make contact with those people and try to talk to them and try to see if it is his dog. But come to find out, he somehow is stuck in his leash, I'm guessing. But when I tell y'all, I'm so happy for my sheriff department because they play no games. They didn't make us wait till in the morning. They came right on out. So I'll update y'all again momentarily. So they are coming to get the baby out. And I don't want to get too close because I'm afraid he might bite. All right, so I just want to interrupt the video really quick just to update you guys and let you know what happened with the uh, dog. So the night that I recorded this, it was a Sunday night. It was about 1 o'clock in the morning. My kids were already sleeping. And... Um, you know, I, I I wasn't gonna wake them up to let them watch what was going on. However, the next morning they were up getting ready for school and I did tell them what happened, showed them the videos, and instantly my daughter, she knew who this dog was. So yeah, because Jemiah knew who he was and where he stayed, she took me to their house. I did explain to them everything that was going on. I showed them all of the videos and they did confirm that this was indeed their dog. They went to the animal shelter to try to pick him up. His name is Dexter. And he is 16, 16 years old. Um, however, he has some health issues going on. And because of his old age, the vet recommended that the family put him to rest. Um, I did talk to the family, and they did agree to put him to rest. Um, they are not upset about what happened. They are very understanding on why I did what I did or handled it the way that I handled it. I honestly did not know it was their dog. Um, and they do live in my neighborhood. They're a couple houses up. But... I just wanted to update you guys and let you guys know what happened and give you the final ending to the vlog. So I hope everybody is staying safe and loving on your family every chance that you can get. I'll catch you on the next vlog.